everyone welcome to our gate and csr ugc net mathematics question solve series in which we have started with the topic linear programming problem so let's begin with question 3 in this series this question was asked in gate 2019 exam so read the statement of the question consider the following cost matrix of assigning four jobs to four person so it's clear from here that it's a assignment problem question so when we have four persons and four jobs so the data is given to us in the matrix then the minimum cost of assignment problem subject to the constraint that job g4 is assigned to the person p2 is so that means indirectly they are asking you to solve the assignment problem and we know that how to solve an assignment problem so the general technique which is used in these kind of questions is hungarian method we have to apply hungarian method to solve this assignment problem but this is not the ordinary question it's coming with a restriction job j4 is assigned to person p2 so how to incorporate this kind of restriction so th this is something which has already been decided that the person p2 has already been assigned job j4 so what we are going to do is to remove this column as well as the row remove the row of person p2 and remove the column of job j4 from our matrix because for them decision has already been taken assignment problem works on assigning jobs on a one to one basis like one person can get one job so if person p2 has already got job j4 so therefore we will just delete its row as well as that particular column from the matrix so then we'll be left with our reduced size matrix which is 3 cross 3 so if you rewrite the matrix so you see that this is 5 8 6 6 7 6 6 9 8 and 8 so now we need to apply the hungarian method over this matrix and for the first step of applying the hungarian method is we have to convert this into reduced matrix now how to convert it into reduced matrix so for that we have to we have to find the row minimums so row minimums are here 5 6 and 6 and then subtract these minimums from each entry of the row so 5 minus 5 will give me 0 8 minus 5 will give me 3 and 6 minus 5 will be 1 similarly second row minimum is 6 so 6 minus 6 will give me 0 this is 1 this is 0 and this is 0 3 and 2 so this is the step done to convert it into reduced matrix so in reduced matrix each row and each column should have at least one zero so after doing this step we will check whether this is reduced matrix or not so each row is definitely having one zero but if you look at columns so the first column is having three zeros but the second column is having no zeros third column is also having zeros so we have to repeat the procedure for that column which is not having zero so for that we will take the column minima of second column which is 1 and then do the subtraction to get the reduced matrix so this way we will get no change will be there in first and third column so this way we will be getting 2 0 and 2 1 0 and 2 and now you simply apply the assigning process so the assignment process of hungarian method is you start allocating by selecting the row with minimum number of zeros so first row is having exactly one zero so we can allocate here this goes the second row is having two zeros we can allocate so this has to be crossed out and now we need to know that since there are only two assignments made so that means this is not the optimal assignment so we have to create more zeros so how to create more zeros so we will cross out the lines cross out the columns and rows containing zeros in fact the purpose of crossing is to cover all the zeros and the number of lines to be used in this procedure is exactly same which is the number of assignments that means agar humne do assignment banaye hain to do lines से सारी जीरोस कवर होनी चाहिए वी कैन नॉट यूज मोर देन टू लाइन्स एंड नाउ वी विल बी फाइंडिंग द मिनिमम ऑफ रेस्ट ऑफ द एंट्रीज सो वन टू 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 का मिनिमम है हमारे पास वन 
so since 1 is the minimum so the step is you have to subtract this 1 from these entries the uncovered entries so this is 1 0 and 1 and 1 and out of the covered entries those entries which are covered by zeros they don't get changed only the entry which is occurring at the intersection so this entry if you look at is occurring at the intersection of first row and second column this will be changed here we will add that minimum which is 1 and rest everywhere we will have the values same so this is our new reduced matrix and again we will start the process of assigning so in the first row is having two zeros so we will not assign yet second row is also having two zeros we will wait but the third row is having exactly one zero so we will assign so the process of assigning means you have to select that row which is having a minimum number of zeros and now since this is boxed so here we cannot make the assignment now the first row is left with one zero so this will be assigned this will be crossed and finally this one so since we have got three boxes or three assignments so this is our optimal assignment so now look at the question you were supposed to answer you have to find the minimum cost of assignment problem so the cost needs to be computed by looking at these entries so this was j1 j2 j3 this was p1 p3 and p4 so you look at this p1 j3 so this is 6 so the cost is 6 plus if you look at this cell p3 j2 so p3 j2 is 7 and p4 j1 is 6 plus don't forget that you already have assigned job j4 to p2 so p2 to j4 was already assigned so that is 8 because cost has to be added in this step so this total turns out to be 27 so our final answer is 27 so that's how here this was to be exactly mathematically solved problem so the prerequisite of this kind of questions is hungarian method and you should also have the knowledge of how to incorporate this kind of restrictions so that's it about this question thank you